again, Bartlett High Tech Motorsport. We're working on Operation Jailbait, which is our 2010 Charger with a 5.7. Doing the, uh, all the excitement. We're doing, um, now we're doing the rear end, putting the new 391 gears in it. And Joe's working on that. He's fairly confused, but that's the way it is. I wanted to show you something that uh, comes up so you're not surprised. We got the 17 inch wheels from Raystar. It's over here. Got the skinnies up front. 305, 45, 17s in the back. Mickey Thompson's, that's the street SS's. So you've got a possibility of not dying in the rain. But uh, the problem is the uh, rear sway bar is a little high and we're going to take this out but here it is right here and you can take if you want to do this let's see maybe if that uh you can take and cut this and remount it down lower or uh, we're just going to get rid of this whole thing here there everywhere um to make it go away because we don't need the weight we're just we're working on kind of a drag car so joe is working on this as you know we've done a bunch of lightning process the uh, new JVA headers are in and we're just gonna get the uh, the new muffler and stuff right here mounted up but we got to get the uh, transmission done first and I forget but that's what we're doing now this thing should be um, should be done with this particular setup in um, for the new rear end. It's gonna be done probably by the end of the day. And then we'll get the muffler set up. And I'll show you that too. And remember all these parts are gonna be somewhere down the road, but they'll be listed so you know what everyone costs and um, what we're doing. Once we get all done with that, we're gonna put the nitrous system in and plumb it to the front. That'll be Joe's first experience with nitrous. And he'll be working with John, of course, to make sure it does okay. <clears throat> but then we get it all done, we'll do the final way, and we'll see what it does on the dyno. And then we're gonna hit it with a 100 shot of juice. I'm expecting 425 wheel. And then with a 100 shot of juice, it'll be five and a quarter. And we will be running some race gas in it so we don't uh, blow the thing sky high with the nitrous on. We'll keep you informed of everything there. We'll see ya. Hey, good day, Bart at High Tech Motorsport. We're here working on Jailbait, the 2010 Dodge Charger with a 5.7 Hemi. Joe's uh, taking care of all the cleaning work and he's supposed to be putting together the, uh, well, whatever's left of that. Bill is here, say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Okay. <laughs> he's uh, doing the uh, valve springs on the Hemi. Yep. If you need, um, if you need help on that, we're going to just do one of these things, show you that uh, what it has to do. So here, Bill is going to tell you what he has to do. Oh, well, you're going to take uh, and pressurize one of the cylinders. So you pull one of the spark plugs out, leave one of them in. Uh, this is basically a hose out of a leak down tester. It's just basically a spark plug thread on one end and an air chuck on the other end. You take and thread that in one of the spark plug holes, if we got them all out. Preferably, um, I think we got the, one of them out. Yeah. Thread that in and grab the airline and pressurize that cylinder. <clears throat> He's got the other ones done already, right. except for a couple of those. <clears throat> the bottom ones are much more difficult than the top ones. All right, so that pressurizes the cylinder, so when we compress the valve spring and take the keepers out, the valve doesn't fall into the, into the combustion chair in the, in the uh, cylinder bore there. Okay. So the uh, valve spring compressor tool is already bolted down onto the head, just lightly bolted down. And this comes in here. Okay. And a magnet tool. The locks out. <clears throat> Put 
right out of the way and get the stock spring out of there. All right, so these are listed on the parts. It's a drop-in spring. You're going to reuse the um, ret retainer. You have the locks in the retainer? Yep, nice and simple. Made by PAC, P-A-C. Take a little bit of lube, put it on the, uh, the grooves on the valve stems to help hold the locks in place and you're putting it back together. And the hissing air you hear is just a um, blow by. Yep. Right around the rings. Right around the rings. Hopefully it's around. So at this the point, rings. if your uh, if your valve seals are all worn out, you can rip those off and press new ones on quick. No big deal. These are actually replaced recently, so we're not going to do that. New spring, the old retainer. The new spring's a lot taller and a lot heavier than the stock springs. <clears throat> Making sure that the valve stem is right in the middle of the retainer. Hmm. And your battery wears out on your... <laughs> Going about normal. <laughs> Every battery has to be some has to die sometime. So while you're up to date on this stuff, the camshaft is already in. We got a 221, 229, 610, 612 or something like, like that. 610, 630. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There's the cam card. If you can read that, if you can't read it. Uh, 628, 641, but I think that's on a 17, so it's a little bit less than that because these are all one six valves. So you got that down. I'm going to show this cam card later on, anyhow, and give you the part number. You can call Chris Mays at Comp Cam if you want that same that same camshaft. It's uh, a lot like the LS1. You just put uh, two rods in to have the lifters make sure that they don't fall down. Slide one cam out, one cam in. <clears throat> All right. Hey, he's taking the... Uh, Careful not to drop anything in here. Yeah, that's preferred. All right, so that's the new spring installed. Yep, so all you gotta do is repeat that 15 more times, and away you go. Right? Yep. All right, Bar with High Tech, we're getting this project all figured out. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a setback on the rear end. Oh, need, thank you. Needed more, uh, needed a different set of axles. Those are coming in from Ohio. Anyway, this is it for today. Well, see ya. I'm talking with Joe. We're working on the uh, on the seats because those seats are actually pretty good. But you want to tell us what you did? So the motor in the driver's seat was having issues, and it was only spinning one side, and it ended up breaking or bending this bar. So what we ended up doing is taking the passenger seat and switching this bottom bracket out with just these four mounting bolts. Switch that from this side to the driver's side seat. So now this is the driver's side. Also ended up switching the seat belt latches over. Okay. One issue is you still have to reach into the center console area if you want to adjust lumbar and your backrest so that that seat the uh, passenger seat is about 15 pounds lighter than the drivers most because they got uh, the driver's seat has motors electric and all that good stuff and um, the passenger seat is not you could uh, circumvent this whole thing if you just wanted to get another passenger seat from uh, a pursuit but since I'm really cheap I'm cheap with your money and my money want to make sure that we do this as cheaply as possible so we're going to finish that up and put one seat in it to see where the weight is the guys are doing the um, 
the gears are done or the pumpkin's done i think and we need to need to do the nature set up now and that's going to be the last thing probably be done end of this week or something like that we'll be in the dyno maybe next week because we're getting another snowstorm so that's awesome i love this place anyway um if you have any more questions just give me a call and we'll go over that a little bit more see ya